bitches fucked up my intro. But we'll try to get in the way, hey, motherfuckers, what's going on? I guess that's a good way to start with, with, uh, the, 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 ow. He's an asshole. It's been a long time since I've been hit with a, a, a flame like that. I'm take this thing away from him. Anyway, so, welcome back, my motherfuckers. Uh, welcome to the last installment of Who We Are. you've learned a lot throughout the last few weeks and uh and if you don't know now you fucking know now you know what we are but i appreciate everybody's uh support and comments on on what's been going on really really cool so let's get back into this i think we left off uh at uh bludgeoning the uh halloween show and so we uh after that we we did a lot more clips and more um uh, just fucked up shit. uh somebody did ask us why are we wearing the same clothes uh since the beginning well because that's just who we are! Please feel free to bask in my glow. I don't really get this shit. Like this, this fucking... Because the deathmatch guy is a little bit more... He's got Scott! Mature he's a, he's now. He's a fuck and, up. And yeah. he sleeps in the same clothes. And he drinks a lot. change his clothes. I personally just like this shirt. So fuck you if you don't like it. Fuck you! But thank you at the same time. Cool. We don't give a fuck. Alright, so we did some clips after that last savage uh, fucking Halloween. Fuck me, that fucking fuck. The fucker was burned all fucked up, so I mean, you know, I finally, I, I, listen, don't let me fucking make you believe that I just beat the shit out of him and set him on fire, which I did. But, like, I got my ass beat, too, so... After that show, I don't know, we had to take a month to throw off. That shit hurt a little bit. I mean, he was really fucked up. Like, he went to the hospital for a good month or two, so... Skin um, grafts and all this other bullshit, yeah, it's you pretty, know. It was pretty bad. So, anyway, so we're catching... I poured the, the salt water, and then, uh, yeah, I didn't realize it was fucking salt water. There seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. So his fucking back is, like, fucking bubbled up and fucking second-degree burns. Who's in that jar? Nothing, just water. <laughs> You motherfucker, you! It's fucked up, and he got to the hospital and cussed me for another three months. That was, I don't know. I mean, just, hey, don't set your friends on fire. Just saying. I'm, I mean, this motherfucker is a total, this, this motherfugly. <laughs> Is a different fucking brand of fucking human being. He's fucking not human. This not fucker anymore. don't count. <laughs> he is a fucking. He is definitely the original motherfugly. Fucking do it. Your friends can't take that shit. Don't set your friends on fire. Anyway. So we did some clips after that for Shrapnel Films and you know it we just 
we're just retired. We just got, I can't say got tired of doing it. We just, you know, it comes a point to where you, when you're ahead of the game, you quit. You just stop. That's it. So we just, we fucking retired. And that was that. So. that we well not quite motherfucker well I guess you never really fully retire so but you know. I don't know what this shit is but it makes fire <laughs> Cool. <laughs> fire! 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 <laughs> so, let me fucking shut his fucking ass up. It smells good though. It does smell good. Yeah. What the fuck is it? Though? It is, uh, let's see, what is this? It's dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. Clay and spray is what it says. It's fire. Whatever the it's fuck fire. that means. Fucking fire! Okay, cool. Fuck it. Piss on that bullshit. Anyway, so fuck what he said. After that, we did a show. It was a Memorial Day show. Memorial Day, May 20, fucking what, 9th? We did one more show. And, uh, that's right. Yeah. That was, uh, what was there? That was Fuse Box, 420 Monks. Was Barrel Sight there? I think they were, yeah. yeah. Barrel Sight, 420 Monks, and Fuse Box. Remember, because Bones got busted in the hotel room because it smelled funny. Oh, yeah. It yeah. smelled a little funny smell. So, he wanted us to do his shit, or our shit, for the, for the main event. Cause, and not to sound cocky, but we're the main event. Everybody wants to see. That's not this guy, and the K19 fucking doing it up. So, anyway, that shit didn't work out. He was off in a hotel room with a funny smell. So, Fusebox was playing. They really, whatever, I didn't really care for them too much. Our guys told us to do it up. We started out, this fucking bastard punched me in the goddamn stomach so fucking hard I couldn't breathe. So, I grabbed him by the throat and threw him off a fucking 10 foot ramp. And then jumped off and Blowed him in the face. That was pretty tight. Was that like a fucking after that? Like, oh yeah. I went to give you a power bomb. Yeah. 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 And fucking, I went to give him a power bomb and fucking reversed it and DDT'd me. And fucking motherfucker, it fucking hurt like fuck. Like dead on fucking some like, not even sand, dude. Like fucking straight on like, hard ground. Yeah, like clay dirt or something. That or... shit was hard as fuck. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what it was. It fucking hurt. <laughs> so I. I finally get up. He was all fucking happy. He was like, oh yeah, yeah fucking celebrate. Man, yeah. Scott. yeah, motherfucker, what? And I'm like, yeah, okay. So I get up and I like, kick him in the goddamn stomach and drag his fucking ass by his hair. About, I'd say a good 10 feet. I give him a, a move I call from zero. Just go down and grab it with the crowd. And then we proceeded on to the real shit and I fucking suplexed him off of a fucking six foot ladder into a burning table. And after that, I proceeded to send this motherfucker about shit. I get 15 feet off a of goddamn, because you gotta understand, these fucking dudes, man, they're like, we got dirt bike guys, we got professional skateboarders, professional dirt bike guys, I mean, all the fucking, so there's ramps everywhere. I proceeded to throw this fuck off of a, a 15 feet to the top of a ramp, like a, you feel me? To like, the fucking body. Alright, 15 feet off this place. That was bullshit. I figured I did I did him a favor after the fire. So, I mean, you know, after Halloween, I figured, hey, man, I just power or fucking suplex you into the fire. So I'm going to throw you in some water. Still salt water, but whatever. Anyway, so I had the bright fucking idea 
to fucking jump off this goddamn ramp 15 fucking feet onto this fucker. Well, I hit him and was like that close to a goddamn, what the fuck is that called? Stunk. Like a, Stunk. Yeah, fucking like a, a big ass fucking stump, man. It would have fucking killed me. I'm glad I didn't hit that. So. Yeah, because I've been pissed off if, if I didn't kill him. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's not fair! <coughs> fucking hell. Say no to drugs. Never, ever do this. I meant that. I don't fucking remember what happened with it. I know that I jumped off that fucker. I did a fucking, well, I fucking did a, a fucking send on off that bitch. I flipped off that fucker 15 feet. Right, hit well, you. Okay, well, let's back up a little bit. Before the match, right, that was a fucked up night. Because. Yes. Before, yes. Before, yes. Before, before we went on, right, you know, I'm a firm believer in things happen in three. The power of three. By the way, that's what I said. Dirt bikes and skateboards. Listen to this fucker. Right. I'm a firm believer in things happen in threes. So there was a few accidents, well, like a couple accidents that happened before we went on, right? There was like a skateboarder who hit uh, the ramp wrong. Who the fuck was that? Uh, Tyler or something, or it wasn't BC. He was, no, it wasn't. He was Tyler. It was a skateboarder. Yeah, a skateboarder at first. Okay, oh. he, he hit no, the no, ramp. No, 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 no. no, no, no listen no. to me. Breathe. Find your happy place. I am calm. No, he wasn't. It was two dirt bike guys. God damn it! No, no one with a skateboard. He fucked his face up. Hmm. The, the dirt bike guy was coming back from jumping, and he ran into the ramp and fucked his face up. I might have seen a skateboarder fall and thought that was it. No. Okay, yeah. all right, so so these dirt bikes are like jumping like 30, 40 feet in the air and they're Shit. landing. Shit, you know. Fucking off. So like, when they come back, it's a very narrow straightaway, you know, I guess and he misjudged. People, ramps, and yeah. they're going this way. So I guess he, he got misjudged. Wide. And he hit the yeah, fucking dude. rat with his face yeah, and, his, it and he face. ripped it wide open and it was And he was out. cool. The ambulance came and got him. Yeah. But look, the second one, this fucking dude, man, he come off the shit and his motherfucking ripped his motherfucking, like, his, look, look, you see this shit? Look, you see that? Ripped his goddamn leg. His boxers, his bone came out of his motherfucking leg right here. Grabbed his boxers and pulled it back into his fucking leg. And our fucking promoter was sitting there filming this fucking shit like we're fucking doing right now. And the fucking, I guess the guy's manager was like, fuck off you fucking motherfucker. And the dude with the fucking bone, his boxers and shit, was like, fuck that, let him film it. Whoa. That's pretty hardcore. That's dedication right that's there. That's fucking shit, dude. Yeah. That's straight. He was fucking down as fuck, dude. He was like, fuck that, let him fucking film it. And we're like, holy fucking shit. Like, we're me and this fucking dude. Okay, like, keep in mind, we're gonna fight in about an hour. Okay, so all this bad fucked up shit's happening. Dude's getting fucking bone come. I mean, dude. Can you... It's bad. It yeah, bad. it's pretty fucked up. Your bone comes out, I mean, out of your motherfucking leg. Grabs your boxer. <laughs> and I remember to this day, it was red, yeah. like, flannel boxers. Yeah. What the fuck? I will never forget that. The fucking bone was like, out of his shit. Grabbed his boxers and went back into his leg. So he's like, he's got like a flannel bone. <laughs> flannel bone. That sounds like a cool band name. Motherfucker. Final bone. But fucking did he not? Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. And you know, he didn't and, give a fuck, dude. He didn't feel shit. He was laying there. Fucking leg was like fucking like like this. Your like leg this. is supposed to be this. His leg was like yeah. fucking like fucking this shit. I mean fucking your shit ain't supposed to be in that way. That was fucking That was fucked up. That was fucked up. So, like, some of those fucking shit so like we're sitting there, right? Just waiting to go on. Next, and we're, it's been like an hour, and 
I don't know about him, but I was fucking nervous because I knew that we were going to be the third one to get fucked up. Someone's going to get fucked up the in this third shit. third one, yeah. Right? And so, yeah, was, yeah, and so was, the more nervous I got, the more hammered I got, which is no bite, no... No fucking surprise, but I think I got a little too hammered here for this. I, I, I don't know where he went, you know. I fucking was fucked up. I guess he was getting hammered too, right? So, we, uh, but obviously we didn't get fucked up because we're not telling a story about that, but that's cool though. Yep, we're still telling that fucking story. And that fucking story is fucked up, so we went on. And we fucking had a goddamn match. Excuse me, folks. I was a little thirsty. I need fuel! But, yeah. We still went on. We had our match. And to tell you the truth, and no offense, but that match sucked, cop. It was bullshit. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Cool. It looked good on footage. But, I mean, as far as Halloween and, and bludgeoning, that was like the pussiest fucking match. Uh, I thought it was some bullshit. I mean, we fucked each other up. I mean, it was good, good old-fashioned violence, but I, we could have done better, but, like, man, we were fucking, we were so fucked. I, honestly, man, what it was, uh, okay, listen, folks. I'm not going to fuck with y'all, because y'all are our folks. Y'all are our people, and y'all are watching this. So I'm not going to lie to you. We just wanted to get fucked up. At that, at that, point, point, at that <laughs> point. At that point, we just wanted to beat the shit out of each other and get fucked up. We were already fucked up. We just wanted to get mo fucked up with her. You feel me? All right. You got it. Trust me. So then after that match, we just kind of just fizzled out. You know, we just kind of just got away from it. Right. So we're just sitting around drinking beer and just getting fucked up all the time. You were really? fucking drinking vodka. Yeah. He was fucking wasting on Sky Vodka. I was smoking pot on the goddamn roof. We, I, I didn't even fucking... No, I, you know what? Any, none of our matches, we didn't even see each other. No. The whole time. No, we would... Until we would the match. Yeah. We didn't... He was off fucking getting wasted, probably fucking whores. And I was like on the roof smoking pot. Only time we saw each other is when I went to the kitchen to get something to drink. And he was in there fucking swilling vodka. So, yeah. We were getting fucked up, but... I mean, shit, man. For, for what it's worth, so much fun. I don't recommend... You know what? I take that back. Yeah. Just punch your fucking friend in the face. You know? You'll find out who your friends are. If you really believe somebody's your friend, punch him in the goddamn face. Just, just fucking go in there, kick him in the stomach. Give them a fucking DDT, and if they still if they're still cool with you after that, that's probably a good deal. Hey, but just don't burn their fucking face off. Well, yeah. Cause now I'm stuck with this. I mean, I like this a lot better, you know, than than the Freddy Krueger look, you know. But uh, yeah. Thanks. So, I guess we're gonna go into what happened after that. I mean what happened to us and where we went and you know things like that you prick don't do that see, see what happens you have a fucking whack ass face and a fucked up attitude do what I say not what I do remember that kids hey and one more thing you can be anything you want in life. Just don't be a fucking bitch. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty good advice. So, all right. So, what happened to us after, after, after the shrapnel film thing? What, what did we do after that? Well, honestly, remember the wallet. Like, so this fucking wad right here, he finds. <laughs> So, so we're not getting paid shit for this, basically. <coughs> we're just stealing shit, bottles of booze, and fucking cool-ass Halloween masks. Which is probably where we got these, but... I don't know about him. He's pretty much looked like this his whole life. Poor thing. Anyway, but... 
Yeah, so we're still in booze and shit. We get paid like 50 bucks. And then Deathmatch over here, he fucking ain't found some dude's wallet. <laughs> and fucking, we get back in the fucking, yeah, we actually drive cars. We're not fucking superheroes. And uh, so we go back to the hotel and we order some Waffle House. But on the way back to the hotel, he's like, dude, I found this dude's wallet. I don't remember the fuck, he was fucking dude's like, He's like fucking. It was I, some random wallet. He didn't around. give a fuck. I, I didn't give a fuck. He threw fifty bucks in the goddamn wallet. So instead of making twenty five bucks a piece, we made fifty bucks a piece. You know what? That paid motherfucking gas back to Georgia, and fucking booze and Waffle House, and that shit was awesome. And that was the end of the goddamn run because we didn't get paid shit to fucking. Set each other on fire and keep each other fucking face. Don't do it. It's not worth 50 bucks. Shit ain't free, motherfuckers. Nothing's fucking free. 50 bucks? I mean, granted, hey, if you're 18, 19, 20, hey man, set your fucking friend on fire. For 50 bucks. Yeah, for 50 bucks. But when you get up there, like a little, little what's that? When you're like, 25? 25, yeah. Yeah, it starts to hurt a little more. And that 50 bucks ain't worth shit. That's like 50 bucks a piece ain't worth shit. 100 bucks a piece? Maybe. Really? Man, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, I'll pay for some bandages and some beer. <laughs> right? And some Waffle House. And Waffle House. Some, waffle, yeah. some fucking, well, yeah. So when you get to the point to where you gotta fucking, like, go to the, the, the dollar menu at McDonald's, sure. you're wasting your fucking time. But, right, even right now, Dude, we're like, fuck what, 137 fucking years old. Hell, he's 145. But you know what? For 200 bucks a show, I'll powerbomb that motherfucker through the goddamn roof of this fucking house. Just saying. Money's money. Life's life. Shit's gonna get worse before it gets better. Alright, guys, I hope you really enjoyed, you know, the, the, just these segments. You know, we, oh, I mean, it was a blast going through all these stories again with you, and I'm just glad that we were able to share with with my motherfuckers here. Well, I guess they're I guess they're your motherfuckers too. I mean, you you know, kind of help that along. So, um, what else we got here? You know what? I'm gonna end up I'm gonna end up knocking shit out of the motherfucker here in a minute. So, <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. He enjoyed it. We all enjoyed it. Yes, so, sir. Until next time, like, share, and subscribe, and yeah!